Lucrecia. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Lucrecia? Raúl, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Raúl. How are you? I'm fine. And you? How are you? Good, good. How was your day? A little bit tired. But... Can you hear me, Raúl? Yes, I hear you. I can yeah. hardly hear you. Not really. And now? I can hear you now. Lucrecia, can you hear me? Yes. Good, good. good evening. I can hear you. Very good. How have you been, Lucrecia? Uh, uh, I've been good mm, with a lot of work, but, but fine. Good. You work for an advertising company, huh? Yes, I work for an advertising agency. Oh yeah, an agency, that's, that's the correct word, yeah. Um, yes. Is the end of the year usually busy for you guys? A lot. Yeah, A because, lot. Uh -huh. uh, because uh, I work with a, with a brand that sells, uh, stuff for for house like uh, appliances mm, appliances i don't remember the meaning of appliances right Appli now appliances are electrodomesticos La, uh -huh, uh, dining rooms sets uh, yes everything so October, November, and December are the the hardest. Uh, uh -huh. The hardest. We have month. many work for this day because Black Friday is coming. Yes. <laughs> is that one reason, Lucrecia, because of Black Friday? Uh, Black Friday is one of the reasons. The other, the other reason is is Christmas. Uh huh and and also uh yeah, temporada escolar uh, uh school season a school season yeah okay but you mean the preschool season yeah because in uh, in december uh, we start to sell uh, to make the advertising to the school season. Yeah, all the school material. Yes, all the school materials. Right. So a lot of work and a lot of uh, competencia. Competition. A lot of competition and a lot of, I mean, uh, work like 11 hours a day, 12 hours a day. I imagine. Yes. You, you are a graphic designer, huh? I am a, let me see, I'm a social media agent. Okay. A social media agent, yes. All right, good, good. Okay. All right, Gabriela, how are you? Can you hear me, Gabriela? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Were you on vacation, Gabriela? Uh, no, no, actually, no. I'm not on vacation. I wish. Okay. 
Will you go on vacation in December? Yes, I, I'm going to take a few days on the first week on December. Oh, good, good. All right, so welcome back, everybody. It's good to have you here again. We're almost finishing the day. And um, let's begin. Today is October the 29th. Two more days and October is gone. Do you remember the activities we did yesterday here in the session? Who remembers? We talked about parties. We, we talked about? We parties. And yes. And in couple we solved some questions. Yes, so we were discussing different vocabulary that we use uh, when we talk about parties. Do you remember some of that vocabulary? Anniversary. Yes, anniversary. Um, first community. Um, uh -huh. um, fireworks, wedding. Cake. Fireworks, wedding, cake. Uh huh. Um, and wedding. Okay. Fine. So yes, that's um, that was the vocabulary we were using yesterday. Um, and we were also discussing what was the traditional wedding in El Salvador. Remember? What is, what is the traditional wedding in El Salvador? Ceremony in the church. Okay, the yes, church. there is a ceremony yeah. in the church. And then, uh, then a party in, in, in your house, in, I don't know. Yes, sometimes the party is in, in, in a house, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes it's uh, in the house. It's of, a custom. Uh, it's a custom sometimes. Mm -hmm. But sometimes people rent spaces, they pay, and so everybody's different. Yes. So what was the word that we used? That after the religious ceremony, what is the word that we use to have a party? Who remembers the word? Word for, for what? Uh, so after the ceremony at church, there is a time when people gather, they have food, they dance, they drink. What is that? The reception. The reception. Exactly, the reception. So there is a reception, right. Okay, anything else about yesterday? Any questions about yesterday? No? No. All right, so now we're going to be talking about customs in other parts of the world. So let me share this with you guys here. Uh, right here. Do you see the document? Yes. Okay, what's the title? Unique Customs. Unique, Unique customs. customs. What is the meaning of the word customs? Huh? Uh, Okay, uh, okay, customs has different meanings. It can be this phrase, traje, but in this case, we're talking about traditions. How do you say aduana in English? Custom. Customs. Customs, exactly. So the word customs has different meanings. Traditions, uh, in two days, we have Halloween. So what is the tradition in Halloween? People use custom. 
right? Okay, so it says here, look at the photos. What do you think is happening in each picture? What is the first picture? What do you think it's happening there? Um, Any ideas? Um, Anthony Daisy mate. Anthony Day first. What about the second picture? What do you think they're doing? Pray. Praying? Pray. Maybe. What about the last picture? Celebrate. Uh, oh. The people yeah, through the flowers. Okay. And what's the event? Like celebrating in a new a new president or something like that. Okay. Fine. Do you think people can celebrate a divorce? Sometimes. <laughs> sure. You know, you know, sadly but true, but many times divorce is the only solution for certain problems. So you might celebrate after. Have a big reception after you sign the papers. Anyways, so let's do some reading. I need a volunteer to read the first paragraph. Anybody? Me. Sí. Sí. Okay, Roberto, please. January 17 is San Antonio's Day in Mexico. It's a day when people ask for protection for their animals by bringing them to church. But before the animals go into the church, the people usually dress them up in flowers and ribbons. Very good, thank you. Any You're questions welcome. about vocabulary there or pronunciation? What do you mean in ribbons? Uh, does anybody know ribbons? Yeah. Um, the appearing the, uh, the sky with after the rain? Uh, that is rainbow. It's a little bit different. Um, okay, let me give you an example. When a person has died, let's say you lose a family member or a friend, the symbol is a black ribbon. Uh, yes, like, like especially on Facebook, if someone has lost a, a family member or a friend, the, the profile picture is a, is a black ribbon. It represents that okay. this person lost somebody. All right, any other questions about the first paragraph? No? All right, I need another volunteer for the second one. Okay, me. Yes, okay, please. Okay. Uh, oh, I, okay, on August 15th of the lunar, lunar calendar, Koreans celebrate Chuseok. Uh -huh. Chuseok, also known as Korean Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. Korean families honor their ancestors by going to the to their graves. Yes. Take them rice and food and clean the great sites. Okay, good. Yes. Thank you. Any You're questions welcome. about vocabulary or pronunciation? Yeah, Chuseok is, is the Korean name for the Thanksgiving version. Now, what is Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Acción de gracias. Right, so, so but, but what is the celebration exactly? 
the harvest. Right. Uh, what what is the meaning of harvest in this context? In this context. Okay. Uh, can somebody explain the word harvest? This when the uh, people recollect the fruits. Ah uh, yes. Yes. So, right. So first you plant something. When these plants, uh, let's say a few months after, that is the harvest. Okay. What is harvest in Spanish? Cosecha. Right, cosecha, cosecha. What else? Any other questions about vocabulary? Great. Of graves. Uh, graves is the place where you people. Recollect. No, um, graves are the places where people are in the cemetery. Tumbas. Okay. What is the difference between graves and gravesite? Between the graves and Gravesite, the last word. Oh, no, nothing. Nothing. They, they are the same. Even the graveyard. Yeah, like like gravesite is like more individual. But oh. where can where can you find gravesite? A graveyard. Any other questions in the second paragraph? I guess not. Um, <laughs> no. Number three, another volunteer. Me. Okay, Xiomara, please. Long number ago three. in India, a princess who needed help sent her silk bracelet, bracelet. To, an em bracelet to an emperor, although he did not arrive in time to help her. He kept the bracelet and a sign of the bond between them. Today in India, during the festival of Raki, men yep. promise to be loyal uh, to their woman. In exchange, the woman give them a bracelet of silk, cotton or gold thread. Okay, good, thank you. Any questions here? Maybe the last word. Gold thread? Yeah. Gold thread is a material uh, that people use to make um, like bracelets. So if you see this here, women give them a bracelet of silk, cotton, or gold thread. So gold thread is a material that is colored, that is yellowish. Yellow. Oh, okay. Yellow, gold. Mm. And what is the meaning of loyal? Loyal? Loyal. It's like in Spanish. Fiel. Real. De realeza. Uh, loyal is leal. 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 Like faithful. Like faithful. Like fidel. Fiel. Fiel. Faithful fiel. Yeah, remember that the word, in Spanish we use the word fidel, but the real meaning of fidel is someone faithful. It's fiel, fidel. Are you a fidel person? Yes. Good. Only one person said yes. <laughs> what about the others? Me too. <laughs> All right, so everybody's Fidel in this group. I know, I know. It was oh, just a question. I know the answer. Fidel. <laughs> yeah, Fidel. All right, any other questions in part three? Well, the word silk. Okay, yeah. silk is material. <laughs> what is silk in Spanish? Seda. Seda, yeah, it's material. Usually expensive um, and fresh. Yes. 
usually expensive and fresh. Let's see this here. Ta -da 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 -da. Where was this? All right, let me see this. All right, any questions in part three? No. No. All right, uh, next volunteer to read part four. Me? Okay, please. Well, <clears throat> one of the biggest celebrations in Argentina is New Year Eve. On the evening on December 31st, families get together and have a big meal. At midnight, fireworks blow everywhere and continue throughout the night. This is a day when friends and families met for parties, which last until the next morning. Exactly. Thank you. Any questions there? Any question? Yes, what's the question? Somebody had a question? Uh, what is New Year's Eve? Eve? Eve. Eve? Okay, uh, when is New Year's? Año Nuevo. Año Nuevo. Okay, but when is it? When? The first. The right. first. Exactly, the first. January 1st. Eve refers to the night before. Vispera. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when is New Year's Eve? The first. night of the 30th. Uh-huh. The night of the 31st. 31st. Yeah, the yes. 31st. Now, when oh, is what? when is Christmas? December, December 24th. 25. No. Okay, Christmas is on December 25th. Okay. But mm -hmm. in El Salvador, we celebrate Christmas Eve, which is on the 24th. Got it? Yeah. yeah. All right. 25th. Uh, yeah, Christmas is on the 25th. But Salvadorians, we celebrate Christmas Eve, which is on the 24th. Is uh, in other case, we can use Eve. Is I think it's a, a contraction of evening, right? Uh, oh, no. It could be. It could be. Honestly, mm -hmm. I don't know the origin of, of, of the word if, but it makes sense. Mm -hmm. No, it, it could be the, the short form of evening. That's a good observation. That's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any other questions in part four? I don't know the meaning of fireworks explode. Okay, fireworks. Can somebody explain fireworks, please? Like for your control lights. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like the campero. Well, yeah, fireworks are like the. Lucy's ah, yeah, got it, got it. Okay, uh -huh. so that's a very good thank example. You. Yeah, now, thank you. Hello. what about the, the typical Salvadorian? Do we use fireworks or firecrackers? <coughs> What's the other? Both. Fireworks or firecrackers? What is well, that? Firecrackers, nice, but at 12 p.m., okay. fireworks. Bucaniguas. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think both. I hate. Also. It depends if you are an enterprise or a simple person. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Fire, what is more expensive? Firecrackers or, or, or fireworks? Fireworks. 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 Yes, fireworks are more expensive. Yeah. All right, any other questions about par four? Uh, what is the middle draw? Hope. What is it? Draw out. Uh, draw out. So at midnight, fireworks explode everywhere and continue throughout the night. A lo largo de la noche. Uh, ah, okay. Throughout. Yes. 
What is what is the traditional Christmas Eve in El Salvador? Drink a lot. Exactly. <laughs> Drink water or Pepsi Stay with or your family. <laughs> Bread with chicken. Yeah, share, share time with friends and Rompope. family. <laughs> ah. A lot of eat. Everybody's friendly that day. Everybody offers you drink and food. It's the only time of the year when people offer you food and the drink. Present too. Yeah. Thank you. Right, you receive presents too. Yeah. The children. Okay. What about New Year's Eve? What is the tradition in El Salvador? Drink a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the, the radio. Which is more lively? Which is more lively? Is it Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve? Lively? What the meaning of lively? Oh. lively. What is lively? I, I think the Christmas is to share with your family. And the, the New Year's Eve is to share with your friends. Okay. Lively. Can lively. somebody explain the meaning of the word lively? Convivir, no. Not exactly. Not exactly. So lively is like more exciting. Más emocionante. Yeah. Más emocionante. That would be a good word. So which one is more lively? Is it Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Yeah, I think that New Year's Eve is more relevant. For Exciting. Yeah. No, for me, it's Christmas. Okay. <laughs> yeah, other people might say, no, I think Christmas is more important. Yep. Yeah, everybody can have different points of view. So, yeah, Christmas. Yes, the best. Right. Okay. Um. Any other questions in part four before we read the last one? I read, teacher. Huh? I read. Okay, please, Annie. Uh, number five. Yes, please. On the evening of February third. Uh -huh. People in Japan celebrate the end of winter and the beginning of spring. This is now a set of uh -huh. Family members throw dry beans around the Well, spirit out. After they throw the beans, they pick them up and eat one bean for each year of their age. All right. Any questions in the last paragraph? What is Tetsubo? What's, what's this? Tetsubo. That is, that is the name of the Japanese tradition. Tetsubo. Tetsubo. What's the meaning of throw dry beans? Dry beans? Ah, uh, como tragar, no. Throw. No, tirar, lanzar. Tirar. Mm. Throw. throw. Ah, sí, es cierto. <laughs> Oops. Okay, uh, what else? Any others? No. What's what's the celebration in El Salvador this coming Saturday? Hello. The day of the dead. Saturday. The day of the dead. Okay. This weekend. The day of the dead. <laughs> How do you say difuntos? Dead. You see the chat? Ah, uh, Souls Day. Souls Day. Souls Day. 
Oh, now, okay. if, if you say Day of the Dead, people understand, <laughs> but the real meaning okay. is Soul Day. All Souls Day. All Souls Day. Now, what is the tradition in El Salvador for Souls Day? This is the grapes of our relatives. Okay. Do you bring anything? Flowers. Yes. Flowers. What else? Flowers. Clean, clean the clean grapes. Okay. So you 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 clean the gravesite, right? The grapes. Do you paint it? Paint. Yes. Yes. Yeah, if necessary, you paint it, right? Do you bring live music? Yes. Yes. Yeah, in some cases, people bring mariachis, trios, and, and things like that. So they play uh, the dead person's music songs. So this coming Saturday is a holiday. Nobody works. Yes. Yeah, in some places. But if you work, you know, you get paid a little bit more. Well, they, they should pay you more. Hmm? I said, they, they, should pay, they, should pay, they should pay you more. Yeah. If not, call me. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, any questions about this um, customs around the world? No? Oh, no. All right. So let's change topic now. Uh, have you had the chance to visit the platform? Yeah. You see the document? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Exam. Clauses of time. Yeah, clauses of time. Time. There is there is a section in the platform where they present this topic. Uh, when so what is the function of the adverbial clause of time? Join to send join. Relative clause. So they join two sentences. Look at the first one. I need a volunteer to read the first one. Me. Yes, please. Please speak to her when she comes. Okay, so please speak to her when she comes. Speak to her is one part. When she comes is the other. So we use this one here. When. when. <laughs> yes. Fast and Furious. <laughs> the saga continues. Assuming <laughs> that thing. Salvadoran person. Okay. Um, what about number two? I need another volunteer. Me. Me. Okay, Annie. Take a shower after you Go cut then. your hair. Okay. So, how many mm -hmm. actions do we mention there? Two. Right. You say take a shower and you say cut your hair. So you want exactly. to join those two uh, parts of a sentence to use after. After. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. What about number three? Make sure yes, you eat before <laughs> you take the exam. All right. So make sure you eat before you take the exam. How many activities are we talking about? Two. 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 What is the eat. first one? Eat. And eat. the second one? Take the exam. Take the exam. Right. Okay. Another volunteer for the next one. Me. Yes, please. I haven't seen her since she left. Okay. 
So how many actions are we talking about here? Two. 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 One. Uh, two. I two. haven't seen her since she left. So you're talking about two different things. Which tense is that sentence? Since. I haven't seen. Present Which two. tense? What tense are we talking about? Uh, perfect. The past. Uh, past perfect. No. Seen. Uh -huh. I, I hear like five different answers. <laughs> I haven't seen her. I haven't I haven't seen her since she left. When do you use auxiliary have or has? Present perfect. Present perfect. Ah yes, it's true. Present perfect. Now what is seen? The past exactly. Seen is the past participle of the verb. What about the next one? Another volunteer. Me. Yes, Ricardo. Do not say anything until we arrive. Exactly. Do not say anything until we arrive. So we're sending a message. We're saying, don't say anything. And then you're saying, we are right. So you wanna put the two sentences, the two parts together, you need to say until. Okay, remember, try to move your microphone. So we don't hear your breathing. Breathing. <laughs> Somebody is sleeping right now. Maybe. <laughs> All right. That's a list. Find a check. Darth Vader. Somebody is sleeping. Right. So like, okay, say press and after you hear your name. <laughs> All right, uh, next sentence, another volunteer. Me. Yes, Floor. Uh, no, Janita. What happened, Cousin? She came while you were gone. Okay, she came while you were gone. Which tense is that? Which tense? Pass. Simple pass. pass. Simple pass. Simple pass. Simple pass. <laughs> Simple past. You can say simple past. You can say past simple. It's okay. Um, Americans, they say simple past. British, they say past simple. So the two options are good. And what about the last one? Me? Yes? We, we can leave whenever you are ready. Okay. We can leave whenever you're ready. So we're talking about Leaving, leaving and we're talking about someone being ready you want to combine the two parts you use whenever any questions about this adverbial clause of time yes i don't understand uh, whenever okay <laughs> Whenever means at any time. Time. Okay. Whenever means at any time. Okay. What what is whenever in Spanish, Annie? Cuando. Cuando sea. Cuando sea. Yes. So when you say cuando sea, that means any time is okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, how do you say donde sea? Whatever. Wherever. 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 Now, how do you say lo que sea? 
Whatever. <laughs> exactly. How do you say cual sea? Whichever. Exactly. Okay, so you say whenever, whoever, whenever, whichever. So that means if you say whoever, that means any person. If you say whatever, you say any place and so on. Okay. All right, uh, any questions about this? No. No? No questions. No. Okay, let me do something real quick. We got this here. And let me send it to your, to the chat. Yes, ask me, Xiomara. Oh, Ami. <laughs> oh, Ami, I'm sorry. Whenever, whatever, that word is, what's the meaning of the word? Until, until. Adverbs. Adverbs. Ad 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 yes. Those are adverbs. Okay, any other questions before we start the speaking part? So I'm going to make pairs or trios. You guys have to make sentences using this vocabulary here. You can use um, the situation that we have in El Salvador right now. Maybe you can use them to say something personal, something going on in another country, in your company, whatever. Just make sure that you use it in sentences. Are we ready? <laughs> Are we ready? Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Um, teacher, teacher uh, can you explain again, please? Uh, yes, I'm going to make pairs or trios. And all you have to do is make sentences using these adverbial clauses of time. Okay. All right, so here uh, we go. What is the meaning until, until? Hasta. Ay, uh, yes. Uh, okay. Hasta. Okay, so here we go. Thank you. Let's begin. Gabby? Can you hear me, Flora? Yes. Yes, Ga teacher. Gabby, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so start talking. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Hi, Gabriel. Oh, okay. What? Give me, give me the first example, Christy, please. The, I understood the exercise is about, we, we choose any topics and use the adverbs ad when or until, since, yes. whenever, like the, this word in the sentences. Yeah, just, you yeah. just make sentences with them. Mm. Okay, for example, uh, I, I take a shower when I need to travel to work. Okay. And um, I, I, to, to, for, for example, uh, today, be, before, before I went to, go, to, to work, my work, 
I I prepare my my lunch. Okay, that's a good example. Okay, I'll, I'll be back. The, about the music, but I normally. I don't know the know the name of the song, you know. Okay, but it's a good example. <laughs> that 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 is a that is one of the songs of this group. Wake me up mm -hmm. when September ends. When? Oh, really? Okay, excellent. After. Okay. Um, After <clears throat> which one are you I, doing? After <laughs> after, okay. Uh -huh. I when uh, when we finish the class, no. After we 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 finish the class, I have to make something uh, I have to make um something in my house. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see before. before. Mm. I did exercise when, okay. when, oh, after, after the work. Or oh, after office. <laughs> okay. Um, another example in, in present progressive is I am I am drink I am drinking water while I am eating rice, for example. Eating? Sorry. Maybe uh, I haven't. I haven't read the book since I saw the movie. Repeat again, please. <clears throat> I haven't watched the movie mm -hmm. since I read, read the book. Good. Oh, okay. Good. Until the next one is until. Let's see. Mm. Finish it. Finish it. Mm -hmm. No ED. Without ED. Six. Um, while I do the homework. While I watch, no program to me. It is no good. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever, Sammy. Okay, the seven. Uh, it's a. Uh, Study whenever you can. Study? Whenever you can. When? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, no. Whenever. Whenever. You can. I don't know if it is correct. Which one? The, the seventh one. Study whenever you can. That is good. Okay. Yeah, it, it's an advice you're giving. Wow. 
punya tuh We finished, teacher. You finished all of them? Yes. Okay. Give me a second. I want I want to learn English since <laughs> China. <laughs> okay. I want <love> China. <laughs> I like I like to watch football since I was a young man. Okay. Um, another word is until. 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 Mm -hmm. um, I want to practice English until the teacher wants. One is. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, dance. I will dance until the party finish. Okay. Good. Um, another word is while. I am while. While. Mm -hmm. I am I am the cooking the dinner while the class English is will finish this course. I'm not sure, but uh, I suppose in a a November eighth. Uh, okay. Or, okay. or 11, I'm not sure what the f in this course. Okay. Uh, teacher? Yes, sir. Uh, when we'll finish this course? Um, we finish not this Thursday, but next Thursday. But we make next. a pause. And then we start getting all the documents ready for the next level. Uh, okay. But we okay. finish this level uh, next week. Next week, okay. Yeah, next okay. week. And, and I have a question about yes, the, plat the platform. In the pl platform, there, there are five sections. Yes. For this, this course. And uh, for the first week is the first section. Yes, but that is a mistake uh, because in reality, each course is four weeks. So in the platform, it says five units, but it's only four. Ah, uh, okay. So we have one unit for each week. Ah, okay. okay. Right. Mm. So don't worry about uh, about unit five because it's in the platform, but we don't really use it. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, thanks. Right. Teacher, but yes. uh, sorry about no, this. Talk to me. Is, but in the platform has another day to finish the course. Uh, the, what day? Uh, I I don't remember exactly, but 20, 29 November, November 29. If after 16, they, I don't remember. Uh, okay, exactly. let, let, let me explain how it works. When we finished uh, the first four weeks, we have a break of one week, and that's when your company sends all the documents and everything. So after we finish one module, we have one week off. Oh, okay. maybe for, for that. So, so we rest one week and then we start again. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Maybe with, with that, the, the, the day is different. Right, right. So remember, there is some information in the platform that sometimes uh, is subject 
to change. So it's not like official. Official, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's return to the main yeah. session. Okay. okay. Bye, David. Bye, Christina. <laughs>